Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal, Dogster Ball, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking into Legoland Florida's brand new attraction for 2022 for its 11th season of operation. Of course, this year is the 10th anniversary of Legoland Florida and they have announced the brand new attraction for 2022 using a long-awaited but long-unused area of the theme park. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Go and check out the social media links in the description description down below and also the so and also the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now guys, let's have a look more into more details on Legoland Florida's brand new ride for next year, Pirate River Quest. Ah so this article is from Theme Park Tribune, so shout out to them. Uh, now, while celebrating its 10th anniversary, Legoland Florida has announced that a new attraction will be opening at the park for its 11th year. Pirate River Quest, the attraction will see families set sail on this all-new River Quest with a crew of Lego pirates to retrieve the lost treasure that was stolen by a troop of mischievous monkeys. That was a statement by Legoland Florida President Rex Jackson. The right vehicle will be a Lego-shaped boat. The attraction will come with a nod to the park's Past, as the setting for the treasure hunt is called Cypress Gardens. The botanical garden and theme park that was open from 1936 to 2009 before being bought by Merlin Entertainments and transformed into Legoland Florida. The new ride will provide something new for the main Legoland Florida park in 2022 just as the resort has been expanded with the new smaller park themed around the Peppa Pig cartoon series. Now, pirates have been a heavy feature of Legoland in recent years. The park opened the Pirate Island Hotel in 2020 as its third on-site hotel. And of course, they're running Pirate Fest Weekend, which will return in January 2022. So overall then, the long unused canal ride uh, from the old Cypress Gardens will be transformed into Pirate River Quest. Now let's share my thoughts on this artastic attraction. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. There is the story on Pirate River Quest, the brand new water ride coming in 2022 to Legoland in Florida. Now, obviously, this is a pirate-tastic attraction choice, and it's going to be interesting to see the whole attraction completed for its 11th for the park's 11th year of operation in 2022. Now, obviously, it will use the uh, unused canals uh, that the boats have not been using for years. Of course, that whole boat ride, that whole canal boat ride uh, with the troughs that have been unused for a long time, you know, they're going to be used up again for a, uh, for the first time in a long time. Of course, they haven't been used since the old Cypress Gardens closed back in 2009, transformed to Legoland Florida for 2011. And um, I, I think that this could be a great attraction for the park, a really great attraction. I'm expecting some really great theming items. I'm expecting a really nice story behind it. Of course, you know, this treasure hunt going on around the abandoned Cypress Garden site is a really good nod into the past of the park and the previous uh, inhabitor of the site of the theme park. And I think this could be a really nice uh, nod to the past and a really nice direction to the future at the same time a bit of a past present and future going on here so um, I think that again this could be a brilliant attraction I think again the name Pirate River Quest absolutely bang on the money with the name money 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 dollar dollar <laughs> Shane McMahon uh, but no this one's top dollar this uh, this name choice um, I think that they've really hit the nail on the head with the design of the whole attraction and the design of the whole storyline behind it. And again, they're really emphasizing on the pirate theme. And I think it's nice to see the main theme park getting a new attraction, especially since they're expanding with the Second Gate theme park, the Peppa Pig theme park next year as well. So I think that for the 11th year, the Peppa Pig theme park is a Second Gate 
and the Pirate River Quest, as well as loads of other things going on, the Return of the Pirate Fest weekends and, you know, things like that. I'm sure it's going to be a welcome bunch of additions for 2022 to celebrate 11 years of operation for Legoland Florida and that whole site as well. So there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for, sh for watching my thoughts on the Pirate River Quest at Legoland Florida. I am really sorry there isn't a theme park call and show this week. Uh, fingers crossed there will be one next week, but as soon as I get my work schedule, I'll tell you when the day will be. Uh, but there will be more content to come, so stay tuned for more. I uh, hope you like the new uh, retro intro and a cool, well, kind of retro intro, like a redo of the retro intro. And, um, and also the, uh, the retro logo returning to the channel as well. I really do hope you like that. Uh, but for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Lego-tastic day.